word of a lie at the head of a statement makes me suspicious. And what I suspect is the speaker is being at least capricious. And when a man says, I mean it most sincerely, do not be misled. He's hiding the truth, and you'd be best to ignore every word he's said. In all honesty, we've heard that many times from 10 Downing Street. We ought to be sure that the PM is honest, and that would be a treat. I'm here to serve you, I swear on my mother's life, with hand on my heart. I've been there myself, so I know how you're feeling. I will play my part. I mean what I say, there's no reason to doubt me. Cards on the table. I'd love to believe what members mean or they say, but I'm not able. Oh. 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 Right. Um, <laughs> I didn't pause on that. But one of the great features of the protest <coughs> here um, is um, the encouragement it gives to all sorts of arts. Um, there are, of course, life drawing classes, um, and in the gallery next door, there's always some sort of exhibition on. There's one on at the moment, of course, of paintings or other art. Um, Main purpose of mentioning that is not to get in a blatant commercial <laughs> practice. <laughs> no, no, no. Although I'm willing to do that for a of consideration. Um, <laughs> no, no it's, it's simply a way of introducing my next poem. Although I like all sorts of art, um, I must admit I sometimes struggle a little bit with some modern art. Um, this is going to sound like heresy to art lovers, but when I went to the Tate Gallery, I have to confess that I thought one of the best exhibits was the exit sign. <laughs> <laughs> Although, in fairness, it was at the end of a long day of sightseeing in London, so perhaps I'll go back and go another time. 